This time on the DX Engineering Channel, we have a collaboration project between DXE and Chameleon Antenna. Welcome back to the DX Engineering Channel. I'm Michael, KI8R. One of the neat things about ham radio is trying different things to see how well they work. And if you're anything like me, trying a new antenna can be a lot of fun. Well, why try one when you can try two? So today I have two new antennas to show you. The Chameleon Soda Activation Zone Model 1 and the Soda Activation Model 2. These are both portable wire antennas which are perfect for POTA, SOTA, field day, or any other kind of portable operating. The AZ-1 is an ID-fed random wire antenna, while the AZ-2 is a linked dipole for 20, 30, and 40 meters. The antennas that I will be showing today are prototypes, so the final product may be slightly different. So let's start with the AZ-1. The AZ-1 is an ID-fed antenna covering 60 through 10 meters. The antenna comes in a heavy-duty zippered pouch, which holds the end connector, antenna wire, counterpoise wire, line winder, key ring, isolation rings, a tent stake, paracord, and includes a bongo tie. Antenna assembly is simple. Starting with the end connector, attach the isolation ring on the antenna wire to the key ring on the binding post, and then attach the antenna wire to the red post. Next, attach the counterpoise wire to the black post. You can also attach the paracord onto the end of the antenna wire, depending on how you choose to configure the antenna. The antenna can be set up in a number of different configurations, including an inverted L, a vertical, and a sloper. The radio can just be stretched out on the ground. Using a tree or a small mast makes installation of this antenna almost effortless. I've used this antenna with one of my QRP radios, and I've been amazed at how well it works. It's wild what you can do with 5 watts in a wire. The AZ-1 is small and lightweight, weighing in at just 10 ounces with the pouch, or 6.9 ounces if you only include the antenna and the winder. It's rated to handle 100 watts on sideband and 50 watts on CW and full duty cycle modes. This antenna does require a tuner and is perfect for any of the QRP radios with internal tuners, such as the Elecraft KH-1. Now let's look at the AZ-2. The AZ-2 is a portable link dipole antenna covering 40, 30, and 20 meters. Like the AZ-1, this antenna includes a heavy-duty zippered pouch which holds the antenna, 50 feet of paracord, three tent stakes, and a bongo tie. Since the antenna is a link dipole, changing bands is as simple as attaching or detaching the alligator clips to select the band you want to operate on. Also, the AZ-2 can be configured as either a horizontal dipole or an inverted V. Just add some coax and you're on the air. Since it's a full-size dipole for 40 meters, it does require a bit of space for hanging the antenna. The antenna package weighs in at about a pound and a half and is rated at 100 watts on sideband and 50 watts on CW and digital. Both the AZ-1 and 2 are portable, lightweight, and easy to set up and take down in under 10 minutes and would be perfect for your next POTA or SOTA activation. So if you're like me and like to try new antennas, check out the AZ-1 and the AZ-2. These antennas should be in stock in the middle of December 2024. Thanks for watching today. I'm Michael, KI8R, and we'll catch you on the next one.